Kitchen and welcome to my channel cake. I'm your hostess Suzanne. Today we're going to be making this super cool Day of the Dead cake. If you'd like to know how I made it and how you can make it too, just keep watching. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this Day of the Dead cake. I made my red velvet cake in this Nordic pan. It's a very nice pan, you guys. I will leave the Amazon link down in my description box below for you guys. I have filled this cake with cream cheese filling, yum, yum, and I have given it a crumb coat, and it is chilled. Let's go ahead and roll out the fondant and cover it up now. Let's go ahead and give this fondant nice and loose and goosey. Just massaging it. It's Wilton Preferred Fondant. I just have a little bit of powdered sugar here on my prep table. I think that looks about right. I'm going to go ahead and fold over my fondant onto my rolling pin. I'm just going to trim off some of this fondant, get it out of the way. I got it all covered up and I didn't do the bottom too well, you guys. I'm not very good with fondant yet. We're going to decorate around the bottom of this cake, so I'm not too concerned about these little gaps and folds and creases and stuff down here. And now for the fun part, after I get this place cleaned up. See you in a second. I use this map to create some nice shapes for this cake. I have three different colors of purple. For the mouth, I used my clay extruder and made the straight line across with some fondant. And for the teeth, I just used some gel food coloring with a thin food grade paintbrush and drew on those teeth. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply this nice applique right in the middle, in the forehead area. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on the back of my applique my shape, whatever you want to call it, just a little. There we go. I like that a lot. And for these Day of the Dead cakes, you want to make it symmetrical. So whatever you do on one side, you want to duplicate on the other side. So I made two of each. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's looking pretty good. I still have a lot more work to do on it, but I'm happy with it so far. Next, I'm going to make a bunch of balls out of the different colors of fondant we have, and that's going to be the border for the Day of the Dead cake. This cake is for my friend Kristen, and she sent me a picture of a Day of the Dead cake, and it had mostly just purples and black, so that's where I got this color combination from. I hope she likes it. It's coming along. I think it's turning out pretty cute though. I really like it. I think I'm gonna add just a few more of the larger sugar pearls and white and call it good. I think she turned out pretty cute. Let me know what you think of her down in the comment section down below. To get the pearls to stick to the fondant, I was using some Wilton Dab and Hold. And I, my first process was to take with my tweezers and take the pearl, dip it into the Dab and Hold and stick it onto the cake. And of course, sometimes I'm a little slow <laughs> in figuring out the right process. Then I figured out, just take a food grade paintbrush paint on where you want the pearls to go and then just place them on from there and it was much quicker thank you so much for watching this video it really does mean the world to me if you're new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed please consider doing so it is quick and it's easy but most importantly it's totally free if you are a returning subscriber coming back to watch another one of my videos thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you if you like this cake please give me a big old thumbs up if you have any comments, I would really love to hear from you. Please leave those down in the comment section down below. I am having an amazing day. I hope you are as well. Until next time, make it a great day. Here are the duck in the back. Isn't she cute?